Hi again everybody. So today we're going to learn another cool thing. We're going to talk about cloud formation. So you're going to log into your management console and you're going to search for cloud formation. Right? With cloud formation what we can do is we can deploy resources from a template and what we're going to do next is we're going to, we're going to pick up a template. When you're in cloud formation, you just click on create stack right? And then you're going to upload your favorite template. I'm going to choose a template that I have prepared here uh, and I'm going to pull it in. Now what this uh, template does, you can check in designer. So designer is your interface that will show you graphically how your template looks. It will show you uh, YAML formatted version of your template. If you want JSON formatted, you can turn it into JSON formatted right in here. It will create all the components required, right? Uh, this one actually creates um, some components required for a certain specific uh, platform here. If you're when you're ready, when you're happy with the design, you can add other features if you want. But when you're happy with the design, you click create stack, and essentially it will kick you back in here. It will give you a, a link to your template. You'll click next. Then you'll enter all the information that the CloudFormation template needs. Right, you'll click next. Well, you'll name the stack, stack test, and then you'll click next. Uh, you can add key value tags, and of course, you can check out what it does. Next, an overview of what we will deploy. You gotta acknowledge if there's any acknowledgement that it might require some capabilities, and then what you do is you click create stack. Once the stack is creating, it will essentially create all your resources. You can look at the events and in the events, you'll see uh, what kind of uh, uh, resources are being created. You can keep refreshing this. And of course, if it does not work, it will fail, right? And it will roll back and it will delete everything. Now, uh, once you're once it's done, it'll say roll back complete, right? That's the final stage. If it fails, you click delete and delete stack. Now, why did this one fail? Well, it failed because I didn't enter information, right? We need information like, for example, I need a value default lab key and the key name and things like that, right? Uh, so uh, to actually deploy this stack, I'm now deleting it to actually deploy this stack. What I will need to do is I will need to create uh, the required features. So let's go back let's uh, just use this same URL, right? And what does it require from us? An access key. So this is going to be an EC2 uh, access key, sorry, an IAM access key, a secret access key. This is going to be a secret access key that we're going to use a, a key name. So this is going to be a, a, a key that I have to use. And then the lab name, this is a, a name that it just uses, right? And then where, where it pulls resources. This is coming from a, an AWS training so I'm, I'm not sharing these these resources with you. These are only available if you have attended that uh, AWS training. So what we need to do is we need to go to IAM first and then to EC2. I'm just going to open two new uh, tabs. First is going to be EC2. This is where we're going to create an access key, right? Uh, so uh, access key, I go to key pairs. I already have a key pair here, right? Uh, if I don't have one, I go create. I, uh, I'm going to say test, right? And it's going to give me a PEM or PPK file if I'm using OpenSSH or PuTTY. Uh, create key pair and it's going to download my key pair. Now, because I already have a key pair, I'm just going to use this key pair name for my template and I'm going to go back into the template and I'm going to say default key name is Marco, right? And then, of course, the second thing that I need to do is I need to go to IAM, IAM, open up uh, a user. I'm going to create, uh, so I'm going to just pick a user and I'm going to give some security credentials to this dev demo user. Uh, I'm going to create an access key, right? And it gives me an access key ID. And of course, I put the access key ID in here, right? Then I decrypt the secret access key. Well, I show the secret access key. I copy it and I put it into this one, right? Because it's going to need these components, key name, secret key and access key. And the AMI ID is not this, right? The AMI ID is wrong. Uh, what we need to do now is search for the AMI ID. Instances, launch an instance. And 
I'm gonna go to uh, find that Windows base AMI. Uh, it wants, what does this one want? It wants a 2012 R2. 2012 R2, okay. 2012 R2. Uh, does it say anything special here? Cloud formation stack, base image. All right, this is the 2012 R2 base image. So this is what the AMI is gonna be. This is the correct AMI. And I'm gonna input this AMI here. So access key, AMI, secret key, key name, uh, lab prefix, and of course, everything else works. Stock test number three. Now we should be happy. Uh, it should have everything that it needs. Boom, 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 create stack. We're just gonna wait until this one completes. Well, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you uh, quick starts, right? These are your golden templates for your platforms. This is where you can find your CloudFormation template plus other stuff. So let's say, for example, I want to deploy websites and web apps, right? And I got all kinds of different quick starts. Let's say I wanna do a, a Drupal, I want a Drupal, a deployment it's got what you'll build right and then you got how to deploy deploy a new vpc uh and this is your template for your uh, new vpc and it just pushes you straight into your amazon web console if you're already logged in which is super cool i'm just gonna cancel this one all right once we got create complete we're uh happy to go we can see the outputs, we can see our resources that were created, we can see all the parameters that were being used in this template, and um, we, can do, we can do anything we want with that template. We can do the lab uh, if we were attending that developing training. Now, when we're done, we basically just delete the stack and it will start the deletion. Because this stack is nested, it will automatically the deletion of stack number three will automatically also delete the other stack. And that is pretty much it. That is how you do it. I will see you again in my next video. Bye.